Hello friends, welcome again to session on lines and angles and in this session we are going to discuss an interesting topic that is types of angles. So I'm assuming you are uh, you know sitting on the study table and there are lots of objects around you okay so if you are using a notebook to write the notes then if you observe the two edges adjacent edges of your notebook they are meeting at a point and making an angle isn't it so look at the ceiling and the point where ceiling and a wall vertical wall is meeting again you can imagine or you can see there is an angle being made isn't it so if you you know basically the point is there are lots of uh, you know angles around you which you observe on a daily basis but there are different varieties of angles as well so today in this session we are going to categorize those angles and hence the topic types of angles so this is how we categorize angles to start with so there is something called acute angle and how do we classify these angles on what basis and uh, the basis is nothing but the angle measure so we measure the angle and if the angle is between 0 to 90 degrees we say the angle is acute angle we'll show you some examples with some pictures and all but right now let's first go through the, all the types and then we can uh, see different examples right now uh, right angle right angle is nothing but an angle which makes 90 degree so the angle between the two arms is 90 degrees called a right angle okay then there's something called obtuse angle guys obtuse means something which is between 90 and 180 none of these two angles are included that is the angle must not be 90 and the angle must not be 180 degrees so anything between obtuse angle uh, sorry 90 and 180 is obtuse example 120 degrees 155 degrees and so on and so forth what is the straight angle straight angle is nothing but uh, two arms if uh, they are making uh, 180 degrees right so hence this is the example of a straight angle so there's a point this is point a b and c so if you see this angle is 180 degree right it's called straight angle then there's something called reflex angle again so if you see uh, if you make an angle like that more than 180 but less than 360 is reflex angle okay and uh, the last is complete angle that means the the two arm coincide each other and hence this angle is called 260 uh, a complete angle and the measure is 360 degrees i have also given the measures in radian for your uh, understanding because later on we are going to use uh, radians a lot more than let's say degree so hence if you see acute angle is nothing but between 0 to pi by 2 radian you must be remembering that 2 pi radian is equivalent to 360 degrees isn't it so 90 degree clearly will be pi by 2 radian so 0 to pi by 2 radian is acute pi by 2 radian is right angle pi by 2 till pi so pi is equivalent to 180 degrees these radians uh, so pi by 2 and pi are the limits for obtuse angle so the theta must be between pi by 2 and pi then straight angle which is nothing but pi radian 180 degrees is pi radian and reflex now you know pi less than theta less than 2 pi radian is reflex because 2 pi is 360 and finally complete angle is 2 pi radians right so this is what is the different categories or different types of angles please keep these information in your mind now let us see some examples of these angles in our day-to-day -day life so here are a few examples of acute angle if you see the edge of the knife you know so it's very very small this angle this angle made at the edge is around 30 degrees we see in this figure so this is an a, a, uh, example of acute angle similarly the rockets if you see if i draw the you know the lines like that this angle has to be acute isn't it similarly here also these are all angles acute angle these are the you know practical application of acute angle so a, a rocket cannot have an obtuse angle like that cannot have this the rocket will never have a shape like that why because then uh, the aerodynamics for the rocket you know uh, becomes uh, uh, you know poor and uh, and and let's say it will it will face a lot of resistance from air while it is going up so basically whether it is a bullet or whether it is an arrow if you see we, we always have acute angles because acute angles in such cases helps in you know uh, achieving the objective right so hence you see acute angles uh, in such cases so here again another example is this cactus thorn if you see the thorn 
the angles are pretty small isn't it i am not able to you know draw it so properly but this is the case of acute angle correct so these are some practical applications or some examples where you see acute angle now let us see some examples of other angles as well now here is an example of uh, or a picture of howard bridge very famous howard bridge in india okay it's on the river hugli in uh, you know and it it joins kolkata to howra yep so hence this is river hugli okay so this is river hugli a uh, distributary of ganges okay so here is this bridge now here a lot of examples on different types of angles can be observed so let us first find out acute angles so if you see very easily there are lots of acute angles guys so this is one this is one like that right these are all acute angles can we get some 90 degrees or right angles yes we have this is 190 degree this is again another this one another this one another so these are all perpendicular right so 90 degrees similarly if you see underneath also there are lots of 90 degrees isn't it these are right angles what about uh, let's say uh, the obtuse angle again yes there are lots of obtuse angle as well how so if you take this arm and this arm so here there is an obtuse angle isn't it similarly take this and this so this is obtuse uh, do we have some uh, straight angles yes so if you see this is the point so this becomes the straight angle right so this is 180 degrees two links are there like that 180 degrees straight angle okay fair enough now what about uh, reflex angle perfect so we have reflex angle as well so let's say this is one arm here and this is another arm here so if you see this angle happens to be reflex isn't it so if this is reflex automatically the other one is either obtuse or acute okay so this is a reflex angle now another example of reflex action uh, sorry reflex angle would be so if you take uh, let's say this arm and this arm so this angle is reflex angle more than 180 degrees but less than 360 and there are lots of examples of uh, complete angles so let's say this is the point and hence you know there are two or let me just uh, give you this example uh, let's say this is one link one link is denoted by let's say this color this is one link okay from here to here and other link is nothing but from here only to this part so the angle between them is nothing but complete angle 360 degrees or which is equal to 0 degree as well okay so hence in one example in one bridge you can see lots of uh, different types of angles are visible hope you understood the different types of angles guys now does this mean that angles can be only till 360 degree no you can actually have 400 degree 400 degrees uh 560 degrees even 1 lakh degrees all is possible yeah all are possible but what does it mean so for example let's say this 400 degree 400 degree is nothing but imagine a line or a ray let's say this is point o and this is point p okay now it starts rotating right it starts rotating anti clockwise and goes and goes and goes and comes back after some time back to the same position so hence we say it has covered a full circle or it has covered 360 degrees or two pi radians okay now if it moves ahead and let's say after crossing the initial point it is now somewhere here so that now it is making an extra 40 degrees angle so in the total angle if you see the total angle made by the line ray is nothing but 360 degrees plus 40 degrees which is equal to 400 degrees this is what is meant by an uh, an angle which is having you know more than 360 degree value correct so now you can see every 360 degree the uh, the point or the ray will complete one cycle or one revolution right one revolution one revolution so in 720 degrees it will cover two revolution it's like a you know a race which is happening and every 360 degrees one lap okay so hence yeah so hence uh, what will be 1080 degrees it is nothing but three revolution completed okay so hence now you can calculate what is 1 lakh degree as well and uh, any other value for that matter so hence degrees can also take values which are more than 360 okay so don't get confused when you see let's say 
tomorrow they can say uh, 520 degrees so you now know 520 degrees means one full circle 360 and then another 160 degrees isn't it so hence it is nothing but somewhere here so hence it has the point has moved one full circle and in the second part it has gone to 160 degrees right this is 160 degrees right so 360 plus 160 is 520 degrees so then that, that is how you have to find out uh, the meaning of all these numbers okay so we'll see you in the next class